see some coming up. Uh, let me see some requests that come through now. Uh, Shaz, I've seen a request come through from you. I'm going to bring you straight in here. Shaz, do you want to throw a question up? It's gone down. Slime, I see you coming up next a few times. There we go. Slime, good evening. Thank you very much. Slides. Okay, let's move on. Roxy's worst. I'm going to bring you in now. Come on, guys. What are the questions we've got? I mean, it's misfits, man. There's loads of things going on. Yo, Fox. When most knocks you out, are you going to retire? That was from Slime, I think. Yeah, I'm calling it a second round. Most is going to win. Fox, are you still with us? Uh, Fox is on mute, man. Oh, this is yeah. intimidating guy, man. He put that, that little boy on mute. <laughs> man, if you're Fox. chewing some food right now, bro, back up from my mouth, fam. All I hear is you're smacking, fam. Jesus. Okay, Fox, I'm going to give you a minute to answer that. Roxy, worse. I see you got your hand up. Let's go straight to you, mate. Roxy, you're on mute, man. <laughs> I have a question, Chris. Shoot. Um, I have a question, ma'am. So, obviously, the co-main, there was some difficulties. You know, I was just digging in at AT, but one thing that no one can dig in at AT is that Gabe Silva's thing. If you wanted the belt, you need to you need to fight at the championship weight. But when's the co-main getting announced, the replacement? Um, good question. Um, the additional fight will be announced and uh, you'll, you guys will have to see if it's uh, what the co-main is going to be, but that's going to be decided uh, next week. Oh, okay. But I've just brought I think, a couple more speakers in. Uh, I, think you should, I think you should bang Mr. Boswick in the uh, co-main event. Yeah. Just saying. Nope. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Come this on, is, son. You already know it's going to be a school chat on Friday night all day, bro. Cook, uh, Jake, can you beat my, can you beat my score? On uh, on the punch machine. On the punch machine, bro. I'm gonna break that machine, son. No, no, don't break it. I just paid a lot of money for it. <laughs> well, definitely, I'll bang it a few times. I got you. <laughs> Pause. No. Yeah, one one shot. We have a side bet. You have one punch. If you beat nine six five. All right, deal. Bat it. Hey, Bams, you probably got on easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheated. <laughs> Anthony, you, you won't get past 700 on this machine. But you also, you can't, hey, you can't hey. hug this machine. It has no emotions. Damn. <laughs> well, I'm still going to bang it. <laughs> right, there's a few more speakers in. Roxy's will be. Both got your hands up. Uh, will, but let's start with you. Fire away. All right, so I got two questions for, you know, most wanted. First of all, so... As we all know, you got one of the best lightweights on your team, Kellogg Stewart. So, how yeah. do you think he will perform on this fight? I mean, listen, he's been in a dungeon working for a year now. You know, I just don't think, listen, Fox can take it. I don't think Fox is going to be able to take what Evil Hero is going to bring. I mean, look, he, this is the guy that he can works in the shadows. That's why he didn't come to this space, you know. So, listen, Fox, he, he might creep up behind you or something. He might catch you in a, in a dark alley in that boxing ring and, you know. Put your lights out, man. He's a dangerous guy. I told you this. All right. And my other question is, so as we all know, he's a smooth, bald head. So do you think the lights shining down his bald head will, refle will reflect on Fox's face and, you know, make him blind, you know, make him not win the fight because of that? Bro, I've been... T I've, you know what, Wilbur? Great minds think I like, okay? Because, bro, I've been telling them, when I go out there and I start, he's going to be angling his head cutting corners doing his head movement trying to get that light to hit fox right in the eyes just blind him like you said bro so very smart question from wilbur right there 100%. cut corner cut corner let's let's go let's go to you next hello hello i don't know if i've been living under a rock but uh what happened to at's fight gabe silver wanted him to do a rehydration clause and not fight at the weight that the belt was set at so oh. Oh, fair enough. Also, when's Danny Aaron jumping in the ring? I want to know. This oh, year, man. for sure. Summertime. All right, cheers. That's all I got. Sound. Good all man. right, nice one. Let's let's move over again. Roxy's worst. Hands back up, Roxy. 
Yo, um, I got a question for uh, Yuddy Gang, bro. Yo, Yuddy Gang, bro, are we gonna see the old you again? Like the old you that was like talking his shit at the Prince conferences, you know? You know, you was, you know, you was just talking your shit, my boy. And like, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss that version of you. I feel like, you know, recently you've been <laughs> a little bit of a humble guy, like, it's yeah, been a little dry, um, you know. I see. I always been like, um, I like to work for my work for my um my Nike shoes type of thing. I think uh this cray cray, you know, uh fight is gonna make a you know big statement, you know. So after this after this fight, I got you. I promise you. I'm a you know, I I it just I, I like like I said, I gotta work for my Nike shoes. You know what I'm saying? So after this cray cray fight, you will get a lot of that. All right. That's a real answer. I like that. Listen, I think that's all we've, we've got time for tonight. Mams, thank you. As always, what a night in Nashville we've got coming up. Can't wait. It's, it's going to be amazing. We have actually, uh, before we go, we got Danny Aarons up here, if you want to invite him. Let's talk a bit about him, oh, his you. training, right before we go. Yeah, one second. I didn't see him. Let's get him up. 